If you've been on Netflix or even on the internet any time in the past few weeks, you've probably heard about the hit new show Squid Game, which has already become the single biggest most viewed show ever on Netflix. And for those of you who are trying to learn a little bit of Korean, the good news is that you can go in to Netflix, take that show and bring it with you into Link with the rest of all your Korean learning material and get to work learning every single word and phrase used in the entirety of the show. Doing so is very simple. and I'm going to show you how to do it right now in the space of about three minutes. Here we go. Importing your favorite content from Netflix straight into Link is a very simple two-step process. The first step is to go to Google, type in Link extension followed by the name of your browser, in my case, that's Chrome. Hit enter, click on the link, and install the extension. The second step to importing the content you want to have directly into Link is to go to Netflix, log in, find the TV show you want to import, and choose a specific episode because Link works by importing on an episode by episode basis. In our case, we want to import Season 1, Episode 1 of Squid Game. And so, as you can see on my screen, here we are. You can have the episode playing or paused. It won't make a difference. Make sure that the episode you want to import has subtitles in the appropriate language. In our case, that's Korean. Or else the extension won't be able to work. When you're ready, look for the link logo in the top right of your screen, which should be a little gray and white speech bubble. Click it, and the extension will open. From there, make sure you have the correct language selected, and choose the name of the course you want to import it to. You can keep it at default if you want, or you can create a new course and call it whatever you like. Finally, you can add some tags if you want to later share this lesson with other users in Link. When you're ready, click Import, and the extension will go to work. After a couple of seconds, it'll be done, and you'll be ready to open your lesson directly from that box by clicking the Open Lesson button. Once you click that Open Lesson button, you're going to be directed back into Link, and you'll see the same screen that I see here in front of me. Squid Game Season 1, Episode 1, followed by the entirety of that episode's transcripts. From here on, if you're an experienced Link user, go ahead, start reading, start learning, and have fun. If this is your first time, learning to use Link is very easy and only takes about a minute to explain. Essentially, with Link, you learn a language by reading and listening to the content that you want to read and listen to, and by seeing those words that you still don't really know over and over again in a variety of contexts. You do so by essentially going through the lesson, as you see here, I advance to the right, further down into the lesson. And as you read, you'll eventually come across words that are colored in blue. Like you see here in this screen, there are very many of them. All those blue words are words that I haven't seen before. And so Link is telling me, hey, do you know this word? If you click on a particular word, whether it's blue or not, you can see the definition of that word. If you know the word, you can either ignore it and continue reading, or click I know this word on the right side of the screen. But if you don't know the word, then you can click a definition, and the word will change from blue to gold. This means that you've created what we call a link, and it's a word that you're in the process of learning. As you keep reading with link, you're going to acquire quite a few new links. And it's good to do so, the more the better, because every single time you link a new word, it means you know that you don't know that word yet, and that you are in the process of learning to understand it. Right now, as you can see on the right side of my screen, this new link is at stage one. 
which means I don't really know it at all. But as I keep seeing it, I might eventually increase the level to 2, 3, 4, and eventually a check mark, which means I know it. So you have to keep reading and keep learning in Link to see those words that give you trouble over and over again. And eventually, you'll be able to read without needing to resort to translations. So there you have it. In the space of a couple of minutes, you can get started importing shows like Squid Game directly into Link. It doesn't have to be Squid Game and it doesn't even have to be in Korean. We have 37 other languages available for you to learn with. And if you are in need of a bit of inspiration for more Korean content to learn with this week, check out our new Link 2.0 Korean podcast that we have both on our YouTube channel and directly in our Link Korean library. With that in mind, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please post it here. We'll be happy to answer them.